Welcome to a new episode of my GNU slash Linux and USB tutorials. In my last video, we have implemented our first endpoint on this at Megaferry 2U4 microcontroller. And in today's video, I want to show you how to access this bulk endpoint over Python. And I have to mention in my last video, I make two major mistakes in my, the firmware for this microcontroller here. So please check up or check out the latest version of GitHub where I fixed these issues here. Okay, cool. So what are we going to do today? First, I will list all the USB devices found on my system. And here, this device here is our Atmega 32U4 USB device. And when I take a look at the endpoint which are implemented on this device, I can see we have one endpoint. And this endpoint um, is from the type bulk transfer. So bulk transfer is what you would use for a USB mass storage to um, transfer data without any latency or guaranteed bandwidth. It's from the, the direction is out. So this means the data is sent from the PC to the device and the size is eight bytes. And with these or with this endpoint, I can control up to eight GPIO output pins of this microcontroller. And here on this table here or on this spreadsheet here, I have um, specified the interface. So we have eight bytes and over each byte we can change the value of, uh, um, of the output value of the GPIO pin. And here bit zero means if bit zero is set to zero, this means I will not change the output status of this GPIO pin. But if it's set to one, this is a command for change the output value to the value which is stored in bit one here. So in bit one, if we write the one to it, we can turn an LED on. If we write the zero to it, we'll turn the LED off. And the same is true for all the other, um, for, for all the other bytes here. And bit two to seven of each byte is unused right now, but later when we implement more functionality, we will also use them here. Okay, so now we need what we so now we know what we need to do. So let me fire a Python and let's write a small script to turn some LEDs on or off. Okay, so from I will import usb.core to access my USB device. And the first thing I will do is I will search for a USB device with the vendor ID or ID vendor yeah, is zero free EB and uh, ID product is equal to one. Okay, so let's check if we found a device. Yes, we found a device here, cool. And now let's get the configuration of this device. Therefore, I will execute the get active configuration function here. And if I look at this configuration, we see it's configuration one. And um, this configuration is bus powered and can use up, up to 500 milliampere um, of current. Okay, and now I want to get my endpoint. To get my endpoint, I will use my configuration and here I will get. So what does this mean here? So each configuration has interfaces attached to them. And here I want to get the interface with index zero and with the altern alternate settings index of zero. So now I should have, oh, this is an interface, not an endpoint. And if I look at the interface, I see I have a vendor specific interface here. And of this interface, I want to get um, the first endpoint. And this is endp the endpoint one I've implemented on this controller. Okay, now we already have everything we need. Now all we have to do is we have to execute a write function and then we can set the value of the GPIOs. But first I will declare a byte array with eight bytes array. And now let's say we want to set all the LEDs to one. 
OK, therefore I will do the following. I have all, only connected four LEDs here, so I can only set four LEDs. So for i in range 4, data i is 3. So this means change the value of the GPIO open and set it to 1. OK, so this is how our byte array looks like right now. And I will execute the write function and I want to write my byte array out. Yes, so you can see all the LEDs are turned on now. To turn, let's say we want to turn two LEDs off again. Let's say I want to turn LED 1 and 3 off again. So I will set the data field here to 1. So this means change the value but set it to 0. And I will do the same for LED 3. So let's do a transfer again. Yeah, and now you can see the, these two LEDs are turned off now. Okay, cool. So that's how to access endpoints or USB out endpoints over Python. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash Johannes for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.